<laughs> Do you feel a noticeable change in the city yes. with the immigrant thing? Oh. It depends what part of the city you're in, yeah. but definitely around like the Port Authority, mm-hmm. Midtown, you'll definitely see more Times of, Square, of yeah. that kind of uh, you know activity. And that's over on. how much time? Uh, I'd say the last six months, three months, something so like that. So where do you think this goes in six years? <laughs> Nowhere good. Is it Delhi? <laughs> is it? I, I I really don't know, but there is like a there there definitely is like a mood in that part of town, yeah. and it's it's everywhere by the way. But that that's where you see, I see it the most. Where I'm like, whoa, look look at like uh, the bus station here, like just outside. It's just there's basically... never been more mango and candy being sold on the streets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a good. fan of both mango. Shaved and candy. ice yeah. is it's so much easier to get. Yeah, but can you imagine being like 19 and living? you know, in in a terrible place and you're just so poor and you're like, wait, I get to go to a place where I get away with crimes with my boys? Let's go. And oh, you're yeah. just like a group no, of lost they just boys. just let you right out of jail when you beat up a cop yeah, on yeah. TV? Yeah. It's what, a- we are such suckers. We're such suckers as a nation to let this happen. It's so dumb. It's the dumbest fucking thing. It's happening right in front of everybody's face. What do we do? What do we do? And none of our elected leaders are doing anything to stop it. Yeah, but weren't they shipping them to like Martha's Vineyard and stuff? Bro, they <laughs> Should that do anything? Well, that was Texas. That's yeah. our guy. Our guy's awesome. Yeah. He ships them. He's like, okay, you guys want fuck? You don't want to deal with it? You want to let these people in? You yeah. want sanctuary cities? Good. We'll send them to the sanctuary city. So just start busting people to New York. Yeah. That's he. Our guy is responsible for what's happening and a lot of what's happening in New York. That's how they got up there. Yeah, thanks. Well, but now the government's flying them places. They're flying them to different cities. You can ask where you want to go. They give you money. They give you a cell phone. And the thing that's really freaking people out, especially people in poor cities in this country, is like, where's that fucking help for us? Yeah. You got these people housed in the Roosevelt. You give them three free meals a day. Mm-hmm. Sure. Plus you give them money. And Income. they can masturbate wherever uh-huh. they want. It's amazing. That's is true. That real? Yeah. And anywhere they want. And for a long yeah. time, for a long time. It's happening a lot. For a long time, especially in New York, they would look at you guys down here and go like, you know, what do you, what do you, and then they finally got to experience it. And it's probably, what we experienced is probably just like one-tenth of what you guys have to do being right on the border. So, Well, we're you know, not on it the was, border, but. But, but I'm uh, saying like Texas. So, but if you're down south, you know, if you're like way down there. The border town. Yeah, if you're in, you know, Juarez, like right outside of Juarez. If you're that, that's you're real close. I mean, yeah. it's coming over yeah. and it's affecting you. Well, it's a little wild because I don't see many kids. There's yeah. not many families coming over. <clears throat> well, here's the thing, though. For real, it's very dangerous to bring your kids through a fucking migrant stream that's walking yeah. into Mexico. So are they and a lot of here to work and then send money yeah, back? There's definitely that. Mm-hmm. There's but also military aged men from other countries, including sure. Middle Eastern countries including China, it's like, that's real too. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that you're not compassionate for the people that are doing exactly what I would do if I was living in Ecuador and I didn't have any money Mm -hmm. and there was no job opportunities and I knew that I could get into America and I'd get a job and if I busted my ass, I can make it and they would accept me. And not only accept me, but help me and give me money. And you you hear from your friends, bro, Every time you go across the border, they give you twenty two hundred bucks. So there's guys on the radio in Spanish speaking radio in San Diego telling guys how they went back and forth four times in a month. Yeah, and then they so they the... got eight grand in a month. Jesus. Yeah. So they're living nice just by crossing back and forth and just continuing to do it. Well, did you read the story about the guy? I think he's from <laughs> Venezuela. <laughs> I had to make a move. He's telling people how to get over the border and then squat in houses and like how you'll just get like, you know, it's like they won't throw you out of their house. It's not like where we're from. You can just get in the house and then you can stay there. Yeah. 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 The lady got arrested for changing the locks on her own home. Uh That to me is crazy. They're also saying in New York, if you're in a house for 30 days, you legally become a tenant. Yep. That's right. If you get mail sent to the place in your name, it's yours. That is bananas. That is crazy. Dude, I love this story. I think it happened in like Seattle or Portland or something. This this guy was uh, at every, you know, march and rally and he was like big Antifa and communism. And he met someone there and the guy was like, hey, can I crash with you? And the guy was like, yeah, sure. So he brought him and his girlfriend and stayed on the couch. And after two weeks, the guy wouldn't let the homeowner <laughs> into his own house and he had to call the police, ah. <laughs> which is like against their religion. <laughs> and they were like, we don't know what to tell you. Holy shit. Shit. Yeah. 